Hello, welcome back to San Lando Soundwaves. I'm Cheryl Bain. This is week six, day 27. Today, we're reading from Genesis chapter three, verses 22 through 24. And the Lord God said, the man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. So the Lord God banished him from the garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. After he drove the man out, he placed on the east side of the garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to the tree of life. Let's look at our seven arrows or our seven questions. What does this passage say? Mm -hmm. What did this passage mean to its original audience? What does this passage tell us about God? What does this passage tell us about humans? What does this passage demand of me? How does this passage change the way I relate to people? What does this passage prompt me to pray to God? God's holiness and man's sinfulness cannot coexist because holiness destroys sin. God didn't want to destroy people who had become sinful, so he threw Adam and Eve out of the garden and gave them over to their own choices. By their sinful actions, they said, in effect, that they would rather, that they would prefer to live out from under God's rule and reign. They wanted to do their own thing, to make their own decisions about right and wrong. But God's rules are not arbitrary, and he knew all along what was best for Adam and Eve. He knew that they'd lose as a result of sin, and now Adam and Eve would also know. They were sent out from the presence of the Lord, never returned to the never to return to the pristine garden. From this flows the central question that only the Bible answers. How will sinful humanity ever experience relationship with God and live in his presence again? As we think about these verses, we can be thankful that we know the answer is through Christ. We hope we'll see you tomorrow. Um, for our next reading.